Hi, this is Nithya, Department of English, Kayser College of Arts and Science for Women, British Literature 2, Pygmalion by G.P. Shah. He was born in the year 1856 and died 1950. He is Irish playwright, critic, polymus, political activist, critic and he wrote uh, 16 plays in his lifetime. He received a Nobel Prize in Literature 1925. This play Pygmalion set in the early 1990s. And he satirizes the class system and especially the immorality of lower class system in the society. Pygmalion means it's a sculpture and Greek mythological figure. Uh, G.P. Shah, he tried to correlate that uh, concept with this story. Here, uh, Mr. Henry Higgins, he's a phonetics uh, professor. Elisa Dolittle, flower girl, colonel Pickering, he's a language expert. So these three, with these three characters, they are uh, main pillars of the story. Uh, coincidentally, they gathered in a church and uh, they had a discussion. During that time, Henry challenged to do the language professor that uh, he can train the flower girl like a Dutch's language. Finally, he did it so and Elisa became as a phonetic teacher and Henry succeeded uh, in his job. So, of the myth mythological character, he took a task and he succeeded. Uh, it's like that uh, Henry succeeded here. That is the core uh, link of the mythological figure. And the next, Look Back in Anger by John Osborne. He was born in the year 1956 and died 1994. He is a playwright, screenwriter and actor. He is the most influential, influential figure in the post-war theatre. And uh, so this play is a more realistic one. And he, he, through that he coined one term that is Angry Young Man. So who expresses the middle class people um, angriness and uh, their anguish, uh, their frustrations, everything. So Osborne, he, his voice echoed like that during 1950s. As it is here, Jimmy Potter, who is an angry, uh, pressurized uh, person, often who speak vulgaric words, even though he was educated, he ran a hand candy shop. His wife, Alison Porter, uh, he too uh, educated and disillusioned woman. Half they, uh, half they had a mutual life and Jimmy Porter, whether he balanced his uh, career with his wife or not. So like that itself, the play it is going for. And it is, comes under the category of kitchen sink drama, which means working class drama. Working class people, half they are suffering between the family and profession. That is what on Unit 4, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. He was born in, she was born in the year 1775 and died 1817. She called as the father of her domestic novels and she wrote six novels in her lifetime. This is the second novel of her and published 1813. It has three volumes and 61 chapters. It is in the form of uh, manners, manner of the human. Uh, hero who represent the nature of pride, Darcy, and the heroine Elizabeth who represent the nature of prejudice. And half the pride and prejudice perspective over finally they got married or not. That is the concept of the novel Pride and Prejudice. The opening line is the truth universally acknowledged that a single man is possession of a good fortune. Must be in a want of a life. It's a very famous quote in literature. Next to work, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Charlotte Bronte was born in the year 1816 and died 1855. And uh, so she is one of the sisters in Bronte sister family. It's an autobiographical uh, work and also its name is, uh, subtitle of the novel is Autobiography. Published in the year 1847 and she wrote under the pseudonym of uh, Curie Bell. And... Uh, Bill Strong Roman, so that person is a protagonist. How his life uh, run, uh, run, how uh, leads a life. Okay, from that itself, uh, Charlotte Bronte impressed and recreated the character of Jane Eyre. So Jane Eyre, here protagonist of this story, she is a ten years old girl. How she affected and how she come out from that, and finally what happened to her. Finally, she uh, succeed her life or not. Uh, regarding that, the story it's moving on. Unit five, the hounds of Baskerville is uh, 
uh, it's by arthur canon doyle so it is it is one of the most famous story from sherlock holmes uh, sir charles baskerville and his family members so how uh, how they died uh, without knowing any reason so it is a mystical and a crime uh, work crime play so how what happened to the charles baskerville's family whether it is done by the ghost or or else by the uh, persons humans so like that uh, one detective who found out uh, what happened uh, uh, for the death of uh, baskerville's family so that is the main story of uh, hounds of baskerville's so why it was happened means they are very rich they had a lot of asset for that a man did everything but a created like a ghost even the film it is available in net murder on orient express it's by agatha christie it's a graphic novel agatha christie is a very famous notable english writer she did nearly 66 detective novels in her lifetime and uh, she created two famous uh, characters kerkul Uh, poirot and miss marble uh, these two characters very famous in literature and uh, the this uh, it is an mouse trap so how the mouse trap what is the reason so like that itself the murder on orient express was happened it was published in the year 1934 and uh, it took it as a film in the year 2017 so the people they traveled in a train the train name is orient express so it was operated 1883 in reality in that pirate is a protagonist uh, so how the person who traveled in the second class and the murder was happened and who did the mur- murder 12 times a person stabbed or else 12 person stabbed a person so regarding that a crime related uh, a story it is moving on this is the story of murder on orient express thank you